Hello there and welcome back to episode 8 of my GMO Jobbers Only 2K24 save. We've just had Mania and we're going into season 3. We're doing okay, we're sitting top of the four managers at the minute for Hall of Fame. We have four trophies, Steph with WCW's got three. Um, Steph's slightly ahead on fans, she's got 4,133,000, I've got 4,018,000. But because we're top, we only get to keep three wrestlers to take over. So we're taking Timber, Sensational Starter, and Rangvold. Three of three champs. Um, they're the only people we've got. Admits we need to find some stars big time. Problem is, it looks like well, as you, we've got we've got four there straight away. But we need to start looking for them. We only have five talent scouts, so we look at established stars. And. The problem with that is we're starting to get to the stage where the actual established wrestlers, um, the jobbers, are higher levels. So we're going to have to start spending a few more talent scouts because they've leveled up. It's got to that awkward stage. So it's, it's, it's going to be hard to find them. But we've got a few here. There's some good ones in there, Battleship Brittany, Precious Silver, Adrian Buck, which I think we're going to have to take him on. We've only got three stars, remember, at the minute. Um, so Adrian Buck coming on for the, till the end of the season. We're under a million already. So, yeah, we're going to have to start maybe taking people on for a, a few weeks after soon, but for now we need to build a bit of a roster. So Jake Zandu taking him up full-time. Precious Silver... End of the season. Our budget's getting hit already. Jerry Hattrick. He coming for 90000 till the end of the season. See, look. Some of the bigger, more expensive ones now towards the bottom. Trixie Gambit. 36000 That's a bit of a steal. Ignition. The thing is, this isn't going to be enough. Even taking everyone's not going to be enough. Chosen's coming in. That's not going to be enough for a full roster, so we're going to have to start looking again soon. Battleship Brittany. Leaves us for just over 400,000. Oh, and then we've got Trent Shaw as well. Missed him there. 52,000. So we're going to build a bit of a show. We've got enough wrestlers to build a bit of a show. And North American title is up for grabs. It's the only title that's up for grabs in week one. So we're not going to have a male or female um, champion tonight. Rangvold is picking up the win in the opening match. Disappointing match, but it's going to be to start off with. Trixie Gambit against Sensational Starla. Sensational Starla starts, uh, starts as, she, as she ended the last one by picking up the win. Battleship Brittany in ignition. Battleship Brittany. She's done quite well. But it's a disappointing match. We're going to have to start um, just getting that popularity up. Who's going to pick come out champ? Timber versus Cherry Hattrick. Tables match Timber. North American champion. It's not going to be a great opener, is it? 1 5, 1 5, 1 5, and 2 5. It worked okay. Just under 19,000 fans. Yeah, I thought as much. Finished bottom this week. But we are still sticking close to Steph and WCW. We're still in second spot. We'll top spot with the trophies, but second spot with fans. We need some more wrestlers. Rookies, none. Right, let's have a look at established stars. None that we can use. This literally just coming up with actual wrestlers. We've got to that stage in the game. Renowned stars, are we going to get any more? Uh, Red Flames there. We've finally got one talent scout after this. Uh, slim pickings now. So, I think the only one we can see at the minute is Red Flame. That's a big bit of our budget as well. Oh, John the Fish Herman. 
47,000, which is pretty wipes out of our budget now. We've got 26,000. We need to make some money from these shows. So we'll have a men's and a women's title match. Rangvold against Jake Zandu, the opener. We need to make some money. Jake Zandu's champ. That's okay for an opener, freestyle. Red Flame against Chosen. And the Red Flame picks up the win. Right place for the two star. How's this next one going to go? John Fish um, doing a bit of his pro doing some promo work. Adrian Buck versus Chester. Adrian Buck picks up the win. Two star right there. Let's be over a two star. Please. Fatal four way. Women's title match. Sensational star. Starla picks up the win. And okay, I'm happy with this. The show's okay. A three, two, two, three. Good booking. A new men's and women's champ. Hopefully we've made a bit of money because money was a bit tight. But this looks okay. A bit of some rivalries. 34,500 and we've done 121,000. We've made some money. Okay. Fans-wise, we've done okay. I'll take that all day long. Thank you very much. We're catching up. We are catching up with WCW and Steph. We need some more stars, and we've only got 147,000. We've only got five... Oh, five talent scouts. Four, the thing is, even when we don't, we don't find any. They don't take the actual talent scout. So it's worth a try to see if anyone new ones like there. Mister Higglesby has turned up. So doesn't turn up every time. Sammy Steamroller as well. Hmm. Not much money there. So do you know we're taking one short contract. Sammy Steamroller and Mister Higglesby. But we've got a women's title match and a men's title match again this week Trixie Gambit Sensational Starler Sensational Starler picks up the win again Build that rivalry three and a half star match that's a great match for an, um, for an opener the problem is our main event's got to do better Red Flame and Chosen again we're done to build these rivalries but we're going to have to give some other people a match soon mix it up a little bit but Chester is going against John the Fish Herman. He's getting his debut match. Chester picks up the win. But for our main event, we've got a fool's count anywhere. Rangvold against Jake Zandu. How are we going to go with this? Are we going to get a new champ? Jake Zandu retains with four and a half star classic. What a match. This could be another really good card for us. Three five two one and a four five. That's great booking to be fair. Fans should be okay. Forty just under forty one thousand. And we made ninety six. Okay. But forty one thousand. I think we might pick up top spot this week. Yes. So we are catching WCW and Steph. We are catching up again. Can we take that top spot, be the first one into the Hall of Fame? Have we got anyone else we can take to build our roster a bit? Established stars, we need anyone this time? No. Let's give it another little search. Oh, there we go. I see we have a couple. Sassy Molassi. We've got 202,000 now, so take her on a short contract. A five week and a five week and pretty pretty re pretty ruthless. I need to say pretty reckless. Uh, no one. Um, come on, are we getting anyone else? No, we did waste one then because they found some... Oh, no, we have Chuck McWagon. Five-week contract. And I've just been in and on the edit there and got some more talent scouts as well because I had a couple of cards. So I thought I'd do that. 
build us back up to 10 talent scouts. We've got 125,000. We need to see if we can get anyone. Because we are, um, we're a bit light on our roster. We're not having the best luck finding people, to be honest. I did need a couple of male hills, but I don't think it's going to be happening. Have we got anyone? Oh, we can see three there. Nicholas Mann, Captain Grog and Billy Slugger. We'll take Nicholas Mann on a five-week contract. Captain Grog on a five-week and Billy Slugger on a five-week. We're going to have another title on the line tonight. But we're going to start off with Pretty Ruthless against Precious Silver. Just a one-on-one -on -one match. See if we can build a bit of rivalry. Pretty Ruthless picks up the win. Timbers building up, doing a bit of doing his promo work. Adrian Buck, Captain Grog. Um, Two-star, mediocre match. Nicholas Mann against Chuck McGuagan. Dull. Okay, well, that was a perfect spot for a dull match. Main event, Sensational Starler Tricks Gambit. Sensational Starler wins, but there was a run-in with Sassy Molassi. 1-5-2, 1 and a 3-5. Not the best opener. It might go against us a bit. Yes, look at 11,000 fans. That hurt us. We've fallen behind a bit. Had a bit of a knock with fans this week. The others, we're all over the 4 million now. So, WrestleMania Backlash. We've got one title on the line, but... We've had a few good matches. Fatal four way. Battleship Britney's picking up the win. Oh, mediocre match. It's not the best. <laughs> I did definitely wanted a bit better than that. I think maybe the title was supposed to be online. This happens quite a lot with me. Rangvold picks up the win. It was a good match anyway, so I'll take that. If he can, maybe he deserves a title shot now. Fatal four way, and we've got Adrian Buck picking up the win. It's an okay match. Got a mid card Tim Burr against Geriatric. Non title match, and Geriatric picks up the win. Surely he's got to get a shot at that North American title now, then. And next we have a cage match. Sensational style putting a title line against Trixie Gambit, Precious Silver, and Pretty Ruthless. In a steel cage. There we go. Trixie Gambit's coming down. Trying to fire up the crowd. And she don't look too pleased. Oh, there she goes. Precious Silver. Too good for this, she thinks. She thinks she's got this title in the bag. She's got nothing to do with the fans. Pretty ruthless. She's looking mean tonight. She's coming out. She ain't having none of this. She wants to get in that ring and have a few scores to settle in there. But there's our champ looking like she's she's confident. Look, you can see the confidence in Sensational Starla. Striding down like this, not a care in the world. But we're going to pick up towards the end of the match. Sensational Starla's just getting to her feet. Trixie Gambit takes her back down again. Goes to the cover, but Pretty Ruthless is there to break up. Precious Silver looks like she's out on her feet. Trixie Gambit. Going for the suplex. Sensational Stylus. Precious Silver boots on the midsection. And a big elbow. Precious. Um, Trixie Gambit just gets floored by Sensational Starla just running at her. Trixie Gambit's waiting for Precious Silver to get up. She's just trying to go over the top. No, she knew better than that. They were gunning for her. They were going to pull her down. Sensational Starla. She's going after Precious Silver with hammers to the back. Big, big blows to the back. 
Oh, Trixie Gambit looks like she's getting fired up for a, for a big move. Put Precious Sil uh, Sensational Starter beats to it and then picks her up for the last ride. It looks like everyone else is out of it a bit. Surely she can't pick up the pin, but everyone looks dazed too. Three. Sensational Starlet picks up the win. Everyone was just so dazed they couldn't even get to their feet to stop the pin. Sensational Starlet is still your women's champion. That confidence that she come down to the ring with absolutely deserved. She knew it tonight. There was no way she was dropping that title to anybody. A legendary match. Five star. There we go. But what has that done for our show? We didn't have the greatest opener. Two, three, two, five, two, five, five. It was a poor opener. 128,000 fans. We've made a decent amount of profit. But how are we doing 128,000? Beat SmackDown. Beat Raw. And we've beat WCW. We've caught up again. We still haven't quite taken the top spot, but 130,000 fans. We was 120, 130,000 fans behind. We need to do something for us today because we've got some stars on there and we need to get rid of them. So draft time or trade time. And straight away, we will look at... Hmm, we've got a few decent wrestlers here that we could try. We've got to make some money. This is the good bit. We need the money. And this is where we make money. Right, Caden Carter, hmm, Cora Jade, and let's throw two in, Andre Chase. Try and do a deal with Steph for, let's, 180, 181, can we get 181,000 for these two? Yep. Bit of money straight away. And now we will hit um, Adam Pierce for um, Ivy Nile. And Caden Carter. Can we work out a deal, Mr. Adam Pierce? A hundred and fifty. 8,000. Do you accept? Yep, we're going for just over the worth as well. So we're trying to make a bit of profit as well. We've got a nice bit of budget. Over half a million again. And we'll go for Thea Hale for... She's worth 68. We'll go 70. We take 70. Let's give us a bit extra. Okay. Okay, right. We've still got a couple of wrestlers. We've got Brooke Jensen. I don't know if that's the only one we've got left. But Steph's still got some budget, so he's worth 75. We take 78. Perfect. Give us 78 for him. And that's that for now. We've made a decent bit of profit. Um, in comeback for... Next one, we've got some good shows coming up. We've built a roster. We're doing all right. Like, share, subscribe, all the usual bits. But until then, see you next time. Bye.